Hi everyone. I uh, had a minor stroke last uh, month and I just put together this spreadsheet to help me with my physical therapy. I have a lot of uh, daily routine that I like to keep up and this spreadsheet really helps me uh, 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 remember what I need to do for each um, exercise. So I put this out there and I hope it helps you too. So this is a uh, physical therapy for minor stroke and what's shown here is uh, the number of sets uh, times by the number of repetitions that I'm doing per day. Uh, just want to let you know that uh, it's I, I'm working out from basically top to bottom. I work start with my head, go down to my legs and um, first thing that I do is I do a slow warm-up. Uh, play some music uh, don't forget to drink plenty of water, rest between the sets, and take deep breaths. So, uh, as you can see on the top, I've got the description on the left side of the exercise that I'm doing, whether I'm using weights or RB means rubber band, and then I've got the day and dates on the top. So, the first thing that I do is I uh, start with my head, and I go through an up-down, and then... I tilt my head to the left and then to the right. I'm doing 10 uh, reps of each. And then the lastly, I do a look side to side. That's S to S, side to side. So just to start out, I did, um, actually, it's, I did three uh, repetitions of each. It's a really slow warm up. Um, earlier, just after I had my stroke, not too much energy, so don't push yourself too hard. Um, as you can see later uh, in the week, uh, I worked myself up to 10 reps. So uh, the main thing is just to uh, do it slowly, take it easy. The next thing that I did was shoulder shrugs. And I used a uh, two pound weight. I just held that in my weak hand. That was my left hand. So if you, uh, I used a, a one liter bottle of water and that's about one kilogram, which is the same as 2.2 pounds. So I would do my shoulder shrugs 10 times and then I'd go to the kitchen uh, counter and do some incline push-ups, do 10 reps of that. Then I would move on to uh, using the same bottle of water. I would lift my arm up to the side 10 times and then lift my arm straight up front 10 times. Then I'd work down to the uh, arm and uh, I would do uh, 10 normal curls and then 10 running curls. So uh, have a look at my other video and it shows a uh, visual description of what I'm talking about. Next I would move to the hand and uh, do a uh, thumb, press your thumb, touch your thumb to each of your fingers and do that uh, five uh, repetitions. And uh, next I would do a towel squeeze. Here's where I did two sets and 10 reps. If you want to give the towel a good squeeze, concentrate on your thumb and fingers. And also when you do your thumb to your fingers, the weakest one is the thumb and the pinky when you first have the stroke. So here's the focus, thumb and pinky. Next thing, the towel squeeze was recommended by my uh, physical therapist. So that's what I've shown here in bold. The towel squeeze, stand on one leg, wall slide, side leg lifts, uh, side knee lifts. Those were uh, recommended by the physical therapist. The rest of it I put together myself depending on what I felt I needed. So uh, now that the hand is basically done, um, the last one for the hand was uh, open and close the hand. Do two sets of ten. Uh, right after the stroke I could not even open my hand out flat. So this I worked on uh, you know as much as I could. Working down to the legs, uh, I would uh, stand on the left leg, that was my weak leg, two sets of uh, five reps, then I would do the wall slide, and then left knee lifts, stand on the toes, two sets of ten, left side leg lifts, and then left side knee lifts, that was with the rubber band. Those are also known as clams, doing clams. And uh, lastly, I did some left leg extensions, and I found that those helped me walk a little bit smoother. 
Here you can keep track of your meds as well. This is how I do it. I take a one multivitamin per day in the morning plus an aspirin, 81 milligrams. That's a quarter tablet of aspirin and also a Zocor and a CoQ10. So if you're wondering what M and E means, I coded it with morning, noon, dinner, and evening. As you can see here, Zocor is also known as Simvastatin. And uh, my last note here says that uh, I get the CoQ10 from a HEB supermarket. It's $37. Oh, pardon me. That's actually uh, $18 for 30 so that's a typo. And so um, hope this helps everyone. Uh, do a get into a routine for your physical therapy. If you do it daily, uh, your strength and your stamina will come back slowly. So just um, keep up the faith and good luck. Bye for now.